we've made an artificial tongue device uh, on the nanoscale. So we work in a nanophotonics laboratory. So that means we make devices that uh, manipulate light at the nanoscale. So the artificial tongue that we've made is a series of nanoscale taste buds, which are about 500 times smaller than the human taste bud. And the idea with this device is that those taste buds, because of their photonic properties, have a particular color associated with them. When we pour a chemical mixture on them, whiskey in this case, we see a color shift in the response of these little guys. And by tracking those color shifts for different whiskies, we can classify those different whiskies and we can effectively make something that's analogous to taste. So the novel aspect of this work um, is that we were the first people to put two different types of taste bud in the same little sensor array. So we're using tiny pieces of aluminium and tiny pieces of gold modified with different chemical mixtures and putting them all in one array so that we can make uh, readings that are more information dense than the readings of a traditional photonic artificial tongue. Yeah, so, I mean, we've demonstrated this tongue as a, a whiskey taster, but by no means is it limited to whiskey. It could be any chemical mixture. So whether that be contaminants in a water supply somewhere, uh, whether it be a poison, uh, explosive mixtures, uh, basically anything in a, in a liquid form that's a complex chemical mixture that you might want to be able to identify, then we could use it to do that. So there's a good deal of commercial potential for a device like this, uh, whether it be on a production line for quality control in, in liquid mixtures like whiskies or juices, uh, but also for um, looking at counterfeit products, counterfeit whisky being a big problem. Um, this tongue would be able to tell you uh, in a very sort of definitive sense whether it was uh, cheap whisky manufactured elsewhere that was posing as an expensive whisky or it was the, the article itself. I enjoy whiskey and I enjoy tasty whiskey and I've tried probably too many drams but yes I've enjoyed many drams but my um, my experience of picking these things out it, it's very difficult where the um, experts have been able to identify fraudulent whiskies is is through carbon dating it's through it's not necessarily through just taste. Now a, a master blender or somebody who has that experience may be able to pick it out but may not. I truly believe in in the in how science works, um, but I also believe in in how um, the human brain identifies things, and actually um, the taste of a a, a a whiskey might take you back to a time and place where you were sitting enjoying that whiskey, um, and it, it it's so emotive that it, it you're combining science with with the emotion um, to get to get the experience. Sometimes they make it using 
would I be able to taste the fake? I think, I think I'd like to think that I've uh, got a good enough palate to know that something would maybe not be right. I don't know if I'm confident enough to say, yeah, this is definitely counterfeit. I think if you're really familiar with a uh, distillery style or a, a certain uh, flavor that one distillery produce and something's put in front of you that challenges what it is you know about that whiskey, I'd like to think that if I thought it was off, that I would be able to taste it and think, there's something not right here. The thing I like about whiskey is probably, um, I don't know, I guess over and above the taste, I think it's the, the provenance of it. We always talk about that when we come to the whiskey night. It's about knowing that you're drinking a bit of history, something that's been sitting there for, you know, 15, 16 years. And, you know, there's something quite nice about knowing it's been sitting there all that time and, and drinking it, that kind of adds to the experience. And it's also more about this kind of thing where... You know, you're, you're sitting with your friends and your family, you can share whiskey, you can talk about it. It's more, it's more than just the, the, the drinking of the whiskey itself, it's the social aspect of it. So you finally open up back in Dublin and start producing stuff again. These guys are really exciting, they do a really good run. It's a good night out. Oh, that's great. Yeah. This sounds a really interesting thing.